Now, the Archdiocese of Baltimore could face legal action over comments made regarding that viral video of a teenager at last month's March for Life demonstration in Washington, D.C. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper is live downtown at the Archdiocese of Baltimore. Mark, how is our local Archdiocese involved in that? Good morning, Christian. Well, the Baltimore Archdiocese tweeted on January 20th that it condemns disrespect shown toward a Native American elder during the March for Life. The tweet further adds respect for life demands that all are treated with dignity. Now, teenager Nick Salmon received a lot of backlash following a viral video of the encounter at the March for Life demonstration in Washington, D.C. Many people, including the Baltimore Archdiocese, immediately chimed in on social media about their reaction to the video. And now, the lawyers for Salmon sent a letter to 50 organizations and individuals asking them to hold on to any information or documents for comments made related to this case. The letter states if their client pursues litigation, they intend to serve those organizations and individuals with discovery request. Anyone who receives the letter could be asked to provide access to computer networks and systems along with any relevant documents and information. Sandman not only received death threats following the viral video, but his attorneys also state those who spoke out about Sandman permanently stained his reputation. Now, the Baltimore Archdiocese released a statement on January 23rd stating the incident included many people, including the Archdiocese of Baltimore, to speak out too hastily, and it apologizes for doing so. We're live in downtown Baltimore. Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.